Hey, this is Eric from Native Instruments, and in this video, we are going to take a closer look at Tractor DJ2's EQ, filter, and effects. These all live in the middle mixer section here, between each deck. Everything on the left hand side corresponds to the deck on the left, and everything on the right hand side corresponds to the deck on the right. These three knobs in the middle are the equalizer, or EQ. This is the same thing you used to get on hi-fi systems back in the 90s and let you shape the sound by cutting or boosting either the low, mid or high frequencies of the track. To use them, I tap and hold while dragging my finger up or down. So I could cut the kick and bass drum, boost the hi-hats or middle frequencies like pads, depending on what elements of the track I want to mix with. Double tap to bring the EQ back to the middle so it's no longer affecting the sound of the track. Of course, all tracks are different, so if you can pre-listen in your headphones, it's a good way to get an idea of how your sound is being affected. If you're using a controller like the Tractor S2, Z1 or the Audio 2 sound card, you can do this by tapping the headphone icon right here. The effects section includes the filter and Tractor's effects. The filter works in a similar way to the EQ, but with just one slider. Dragging it down gradually cuts the highs, then the mids, letting only the bass through. Dragging it up does the opposite. You can choose Tractor DJ's effects by tapping this icon. The effects are a good way to experiment with your sound. They are all layered with the filter, but additionally change and manipulate the sound in different ways. Like the filter, they are also using a slider. The best thing to do with them is just to play about to get an idea of what works for you and for your mixing and the kind of music you're playing. So I just leave you to experiment with these and if you want to learn more about Tractor DJ2, just check out the rest of the videos in this playlist and hit subscribe.